Thank you very much. Um, my name is uh, my name is Barry, or most of the people know me by Fish. Um, I do have a few logos. I got lots of uh, more, but one of the logos is Random Data, which is a hackerspace in Utrecht. And um, since I'm also a dad, uh, I was involved in the past five years when my kid was growing up doing more technical stuff and um, I'm making my uh, uh, I'm got, I got a job with the S unit uh, which is a company doing offensive stuff and we break a lot of things um, and with this we are also able to do these kind of things and um, as I said I'm part of the HDB core crew I'm not I, we did not I don't need not did not start this project alone um, actually I spoke with uh, with hero which is over here um, Hero and I had a chat. We had a phone call. Actually, it was not that phone, was it, Hero? <laughs> okay. And, and uh, we were talking about our kids, about that they are on school. Well, what kind of technical stuff do they learn on schools? And it was kind of sad, actually. We had the conclusion that hacking was not in the class yet. So we came up to the ID at the school of Hero to, to run a pilot. And we called it Hack in a Class. And during our journey, we, we spoke about uh, with a lot of people about this ID, and everybody said, hey, but this is cool. I also want to wanna know about this. And, and so, so we are on the beginning of a journey yet. Hack in a Class is still very small, but we have a lot of people who want to have attention for this. Um, and to organize this a little bit, you know, it's just, it's not an initiative. We just are starting on a school running, uh, running a hacking class. Now you have to think much different in that way. Like, okay, how are we going to do it responsible, responsible for example, and, and how are we going to extend this? And, and is it even, are the kids waiting for this or are they just bored and they want to play there on their PlayStation or whatever? So, um, and, and this journey started a few weeks ago. And during this journey, we thought about, we need to grow this. We need to make this bigger and, and, and see if we can launch this at least in a way uh, that it's sustainable and more people can use it. So what I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you an introduction a little bit about hacking a clause. But we're still in the, uh, it's still an alpha project. So we're on the beginning of the journey. And we need a lot of people joining this. And this will be the formal announcement of hacking a clause. But well, we don't know where it's going yet, and I think that's a good hacky way to at least bring hacking to the classroom. Um, one of the things uh, we, we were working on is our vision. Uh, first of all, we do see a lot of schools trying and, and, and see how they can extend a lot of things, but they don't know how. Um, a second thing to that is also that we see lots of schools are, are, are not able to, to uh, go out of the standard curriculum which means that they are trying to give everybody uh, a, a six plus or something like that um, to, to, to gain their, um, to, to fix their exams, et cetera. Um, and hacking is actually just outside these borders. It's, it's behind the baselines. Um, a second thing is we see the amount of kids who are doing science the amount, are, uh, it, it's really dropping at the moment. And we, we did a little bit research on, on why, and uh, one of the, the main courses about this, and don't get me wrong on this, but we do have a lot of female teachers in primary schools. And these are very good and have very, very good communication skills. Um, but usually the dads and the, the men are usually more into soldering and breaking things and, 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 and um, fixing their bikes, for example. It's not about all the women, I want to say, but I just want to say that we do see a trend over there. Um, so this gives actually two problems. Um, first of all, there is not enough cyber hygiene in the, in the classroom. Kids are not going to be teach what's good and what's wrong. Um, and second to that is we were, these junior hackers are not activated enough. And this activation is needed. Uh, so this is the reason why we started this journey. So f one of our missions is, is to bring cyber hygiene to schools. You know, I'm talking about using good passwords. I'm talking about not putting everything on Facebook you, 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 you don't want to share in the future. Uh, and even about thinking about what you think what is security and think about, do I want to share this? Is this secure, yes or not? Um, this is not the real thing about bringing hackers to classes, but it is an important subject. And we also want to cover this. So uh, by teaching uh, the teachers at least what cyber hygiene is, and so the kids can learn it, they can at least teach others and even the parents what cyber hygiene is. Uh, do I make a little bit clear what cyber hygiene is, by the way? Okay, if you've got questions, just, just uh, break in, please. 
Our second mission is to bring more hacking to kids and activate it in, in, in these little brains. We are searching for those, those uh, boys and girls who are, are exploring the world in a different way. Sometimes they're even one in a classroom and they don't know how to handle themselves. And even if the teacher doesn't know how to handle them, they usually are, are one of the, 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 the boys or girls who are difficult and we don't know how to handle them. And sometimes they even go to different schools for special kids. Well, I also think they're special, but I think they're worthful special instead of you have to handle them with, with, with different hands or something like that. So if we take these two missions, cyber hygiene and, go, and, and, and uh, our missions to bring more hacking to classrooms, um, we, we defined a few goals. And as I said, we are still in an alpha phase and going to a beta phase soon. And in this beta phase, we're going to bring, we're going to outcome a little bit more to, to the world. Um, in the alpha phase, we are learning a lot of these kids. Um, when the first time I went to the classroom and I showed these kids how you have to, uh, how it's possible to break a system, and I saw the smiles and I said, "Oh, that's possible!" Oh, and I understand why I can. These these kids were really getting enlightened by the fact that somebody who was older standing in front of the classrooms and and giving them a lot of energy. Um, I think the, the, the first class we, we scheduled about one and a half hour and I, after three o'clock we had, uh, sorry, after three hours really really had to stop them uh, because I had to go home and they also because they were, they were getting home late. But they were so much, it, they gave so much energy on this. Um, and I learned one thing about this. This is really important for me and I want to do this. I want to see those smiles on those faces and having to feel uh, about uh, the, the energy growing in themselves and see more future instead of only having the feeling, okay, I'm special and they don't know how to handle me. Okay, um, also a thing is we are doing and uh, yes, we can make a lot of plans and, and, and do everything through, uh, through a project system or whatever, um, but there are have, has been a lot of initiatives already in the Netherlands uh, who are not making it this way. If we want to change the school system, it takes about four to six years to change the school system and bring new information and technology uh, to, to, to a school. Uh, of course, there are more initiatives, and we also want to want to bring these initiatives to to uh, to hack in the class. We want to work together. You know, I'm not saying we got uh, we we know everything, but I at least want to say that we need to uh, create a certain point where all these schools and all these teachers and all these kids can come to and and learn from each other and share all this information. Um, there's the community startup also coming. I would like to work together with a lot of people and bring these initiatives to, to, uh, to with more people to these kids. And uh, you know, I, I'm working a lot on hardware, but maybe somebody else is really good in Python and can teach Python in schools, for example. Third thing is we need to start up communication, and this is where where the goal is for me at the moment. We are starting up communication uh, and also going outreach the world and see how who's interested to to join Hack in the class and see if we can can make this pilot uh, into really something else. I want to grow this community because I know a lot of uh, uh, moms and dads who are hacker also want to help out and bring this to kids. Okay, th this was the alpha phase, and now we're going to the beta, beta program. And this beta program is going to be a little bit more outreach already. Um, we want to create the tools and resources for schools to use. It, could be, it should be very nice if we can think about um, creating tools and, and, or maybe hardware which can be used by other teachers, for example. And um, we, I'm, I'm sure that we can make this information easy enough so teacher can handle it in the basics, you know? This teacher doesn't need to be uh, a guru on Raspberry Pis, for example. No, but if, I, if he, he or she knows how to bring this Raspberry, Pi, Raspberry Pis to the kids, uh, these kids are going to be enabled at least on this technology. Um, if we bring Arduino to them, you know, maybe, maybe they can start up to do Blink, but if they, if they want to uh, program an Ethernet shield, it's something different. And there is, 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 that's the reason why I'm calling it resources. I not only want to bring tools and, and, and standard ways, I also want to bring hackers to these classrooms. And so if a hacker is coming in these classrooms and these kids already were playing around with Arduino, then these hackers can at least say, hey, yeah, but if you can also try this. So I want to extend these classrooms with external hackers, for example. And when I'm talking about hackers, by the way, I'm talking about the good guys, but you probably know that. Um, the cyber hygiene and hacker classes is, is also one of the things we want to put on. 
Uh, but cyber hygiene needs a different approach because it's also approaching the other kids. And the other kids, uh, they maybe are not interested in hacking at all or in computers. But it's still an important thing, and um, this is more, we need to change the curriculum of the Dutch school system. And this is going to take a lot of more time. But if we are not going to show the people that it's possible to bring it to the kids, then we don't have a sample to, to change the school system in the Netherlands. So this can take some time, and that's the reason why I'm going back to my second point again over there. We just have to do and talk to the schools and bring it over there. Um, the third thing, teach the teacher. Well, I already spoke to about a little about this. And teaching the teacher is about, it's all about, do you guys know the Raspberry Pi Academy, for example? Uh, for those who doesn't, the uh, Raspberry Pi Academy is enabling teachers to play around with these Raspberry Pis. They're bringing the basic Raspberry Pi information in the UK to these teachers. And these teachers are at least able to, to play around a little bit with it. And I think this is also a way to go in the Netherlands. But I, as I said, I want to have these hacker extensions to, to have the kids who want to go further, at least to have the possibilities. Um, also, I want to share and improve. Uh, I'm really into open source of these kind of things, you know. I don't have all the knowledge, and I think if we can make this open source, people can at least improve it, use it, and reuse it. Um, and create a Dutch school curriculum. Well, I put it uh, on the last because I think it's most important we just start doing with each other, but we still have to handle a lot of formal stuff. Okay, where are we? Well, we're currently in the pilot phase, and uh, I just took this picture just for fun, uh, because this is uh, also a pilot phase. We want to be ahead, and uh, we started already uh, with a school in Heemstede, and um, these are, uh, this is just a small uh, part of, uh, of the classroom who started working on, uh, on hacking in the class. Uh, who was at Hack in the Box uh, yesterday? Okay, uh, who saw some kids walking around and playing around and fooling? Yeah. <laughs> Um, we, we also brought the kids to, to Hack in the Box um, to show them how big this world actually can be and how fun it can be. They play around a little bit with Arduinos on, uh, on the hacker spaces. Uh, some of them went lock picking and uh, I think one even stayed until 7 o'clock in the evening. Of course we phoned his dad or mom to be sure that he was allowed over there. So which, which is coming me a little bit to a timeline and, and um, you know, we are focusing on, on a longer timeline. As I said, this alpha phase is for 2016 the, the way to go and learn how we have to handle this even further. In 2017, we want to roll out this beta phase and at least be on at least 10 or 20 schools in the Netherlands with this program. And we need a lot of people for that. So if you're a hacker or at least uh, technical oriented and you want to go to schools with this knowledge and, and want to teach kids, please let me know because we need people. Um, 2017 and 2080, I put it on the curriculum, mainly because uh, we need to put a goal and I don't want to have this six year old, uh, six years uh, time of, of changing the curriculum. I want to be positive, but I'm not sure if we're going to make it in 2017, 2018. If we're going to start over there, I'm a really happy guy. But we can start teach the teacher. Teach the teacher is, is, is uh, we already spo uh, spoke to a teacher who is not uh, that technical, but as we explained some things, he said, okay, but I'm able to tell this to, to kids and I can help these kids to, to work on, on these types of things. So uh, teaching the teacher is something we should focus quite fast on because if we are able to teach these teachers, we can, we can go more abroad. During our journey, we also came through the question, what is good and what is wrong? And this is a difficult part, mainly because yeah, what, what's good on an ethical doesn't need necessarily to be good for a kid. You know, main goals, we don't want to hurt kid, we just want to give them more opportunities and enable them. So, um, but by at least by discussing this, they are getting more rich. They are understanding, so I have to ask myself the question, um, is this good, is this right or is this wrong? And what's the good way? But we also do understand that you can't give the full responsibility about ethics and these kind of things to kids. And that's one of the reasons why I, as a hack in the class, uh, together with Hero, we want to take the responsibility and help these kids at least discussing this. So, so one of the uh, things we, 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 we just started is the junior hacker hotline. And if these kids have just have questions, yeah, just dial this number, and uh, they, got, uh, they got me or Hero on the other side, and they are able to at least 
talk about the issue they have or something like that. You know, it's mentioned as a hotline, so I hope they're not going to call me in the middle of the night. But on the other side, if they are going to call me in the middle of the night before they are going to be co uh, convinced a crime or something like that, I'm really glad to pick up the phone, maybe with my sleepy head a little bit. You know, we want to be there for those, uh, those kids. Um, so, yeah, to come uh, a little bit more to the, to the final stuff where we are now and what we're going to do. First, we want to continue our lessons. You know, if we not continue this, we're not learning, and at least we are not keeping the ID alive. Uh, for the moment, we uh, we uh, we already broke some alarm systems, for example, and show how radio communication is working. Um, we also want to uh, play around with microcontrollers and show them how easy it is to program these. Uh, some of them already played with Arduino, so we might bring in some other stuff around that. Uh, maybe even bring some 3D printing in and bring it bring technology to these kids. Also, one of the things we uh, we want to do is we uh, we're going to open a call for volunteers and bring more volunteers to hack in a class and see if we can start up this community and and bring more uh, more people uh, get more people involved with this with, with the project. Uh, for this, we also need to build some communication. So yeah, currently we have a, a placeholder page on uh, hackinaclass.nl. Um, you know, it needs to be filled, and I'm thinking about at least starting a wiki so everybody can uh, can change and enable and start it. Um, also, we uh, we need to enable communication, of course, in the form of Twitter, uh, which is going to happen actually today because this is the first moment we're going to outreach the outer world. Uh, then we also want to build uh, content and, and, and share this content. You know, the content I'm building, I'm going to share it anyway. Everybody can use it and wants to use it. Um, but I hope we got a lot of more people who wants to, wants to join the initiatives and also want to build content and share it. Um, and of course, we're going to share this information uh, on a CC license. Uh, you know, the only thing is why I'm not making it commercial is because I think uh, maybe a lot of uh, uh, higher people, they also want to use this information in the boardroom. And, you know, w which is fine for me. But if they're going to sell it, you know, I think it's fine. But they need to contribute a little bit on hacking the class at least. So, um, I'm coming to the end of my presentation and the opening of hacking the class. Uh, we did organize something which is not in yet, but uh, we can at least uh, at least check because uh, I want to thank you for for listening, and I hope you have some questions and 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 maybe you're interested to come over, uh, so we can uh, we can really f uh, launch hacking the claws in uh, in the right way. So uh, Cooper, is uh, somebody out there with something or not? Okay, they can come in. Um, to open a hack in the class, I thought about the fact yeah, you, we should have a formal opening, and we can do this, of course, with champagne. But we are hacking the class, and we are working with kids. So I thought about the fact, well, we should do this at least with kids' champagne. So I got an alcohol free champagne. And. Uh, the, the beer will be available uh, later. So. Um, I see a lot of faces looking at me. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, pl please show your hand, and uh, we will. Um, uh, the the sir in the back. Um, I have a question here. Um, how about uh, the the Uh, I, I totally agree on you uh, on, on kickstarting it in a way and work together because there are already a lot of programs and I want to I, I just want to want to support all these programs um, and also let me take one thanks yeah Let, let me repeat, Hero. Uh, we, we already started uh, at Hagenveld College in Heemstede, and uh, th this is our pilot or uh, alpha class at the moment. Uh, but we already have two other schools who just want to want to start with it. So, yeah, does it answer your question? Thanks. The, the lady in the front over here.
Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely sure that we will be in touch. Um, we also, uh, with the young uh, the young uh, onderzoekers, for example, in, in Amersfoort is also one of them. Uh, th there are more initiatives, but th the problem I have is, is uh, for the moment, I do see a lot of initiatives, but there is no central role yet. And um, uh, I think when we are, if we are able to create just a sharing platform uh, and extend all these, these 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 possibilities together, then at least uh, there there is a way to go. Um, uh, second thing you spoke about, yeah, you're a female teacher yourself, and I, I'm not talking about all female teachers. Uh, so I hope. Yeah, I, I, it was not meant to be offensive, but I just wanted to be. Um, clear on the fact that we are losing badass and uh, it, it, it's not pointing out to somebody bad or somebody good we just want to change the system in a good way so yeah so well for the moment we are not aiming on primary or secondary school mainly because we do see a lot of difference on ages uh, on the in our beta class uh, we got a girl in her ages is 10 years old, uh, she's already in the secondary school, but she's good enough uh, to at least play around already with these kind of things. So um, um, I think you're ready when you're ready, and if primary school also want to start already with it, it's, I would be happy, mainly because if we can bring all these, these information already to younger kids, they can already start growing from a younger age. Yeah, it's, uh, secondary schools is, is first, I do have to say, because it's also about us learning. You know, I, I seriously don't know a lot about uh, how to teach, for example, and th there's, where, there's where my learning curve starts, actually. So, so I think we, uh, we do, uh, we're going to, uh, to make the toast at least on Hack in the Class. Thank you all uh, for listening, and I hope you're all going to support the initiative. So, cheers on Hack in the Class. Not bad. So. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> Thank you all.